I'm going to tell you a story. Two white kids walking down the middle of the road in a middle class neighborhood, uh, minding their own business. Um, car pulls up. Uh, person in the car tells two white kids, uh, get the f out of the road. Um, two white kids don't like being talked to that way. Words are exchanged with the person driving the car. Uh, uh, the person driving the car has a gun. Uh, the two white kids don't have a gun. Um, <laughs> White kid ends up dead, uh, shot seven or eight times, 130 feet away from the car uh, where, uh, you know, the, the original argument occurred. Uh, the police are called. The police show up. Uh, white kid dead in the street. Other guy standing around with a smoking gun in his hand. Uh, what do you think would happen? Uh, the other person would be arrested immediately uh, and booked into jail where he would sit uh, awaiting trial. Uh, this kangaroo court here uh, in Ferguson, Missouri, uh, with, with this officer, Darren Wilson, is one of the most ridiculous puppet shows I've ever seen. Uh, this is just insane. Uh, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, if Officer Darren Wilson was anyone other than a police officer, he would have been arrested three and a half months ago when this happened. This is this is just crazy. Uh, <laughs> not doing what a cop tells you to do uh, is not a reason to be murdered. It's just not. Now, should you listen to police and respect police? Yes, you should. Uh, you know, but... Not getting out of the road because a cop tells you to uh, it is no reason to be murdered in broad daylight in the middle of the road, uh, which is exa exactly what happened. And, you know, I'm not, I, I've said this in all my, every video where I've ever mentioned anything about police, I've, I say this all the time, I'm not anti-cop. Cops are just like every other profession. Most cops are good. A few aren't. Uh, most people who work at Walmart are good. Some aren't. Uh, most people who work anywhere are good. Some aren't. That's just the way it is. But when you're a police, you, you know, if you if you go to the grocery store and you have an encounter with a bad employee, uh, you know, at worst you're going to get treated bad. Uh, you have a you, you have a, a a bad experience with a with a bad police officer and you end up dead in the middle of the road. Uh, at four in the afternoon. Uh, this pretend grand jury that they had in Ferguson is, is just ridiculous. If you know anything about the legal system and the way it works in grand juries, the way they presented this case to the grand jury was a joke from the beginning. Uh, prosecutors take something to the grand jury with, with the goal of getting an indictment. That's what's supposed to happen. This clown, this McCulloch puppet never wanted an indictment uh, he never recommended an indictment to the jury uh, it takes no evidence at all to get an indictment in a grand jury uh, anybody can be indicted for almost any crime in a grand jury you, you, it's not the same burden of proof that exists in a regular trial uh, in a grand jury, all you need is some small amount of probable cause to think that a crime occurred. Well, what more probable cause do you need? Someone without a gun was murdered in the middle of the street at four in the afternoon by someone with a gun. That's reason enough to go to trial. And, you know, <laughs> yeah, of course these people are pissed off. I, I'd be pissed off, too. Uh, I mean, for God's sakes, you know, j j indict the guy, charge him with at least manslaughter, uh, and, and take this thing to trial. This, 
I mean, this, this dog and pony show you had with this grand jury it is an insult uh, to the people of Ferguson. Uh, it's an insult to uh, Americans everywhere. Uh, it, it's just ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> if, if that guy wasn't a police officer, this wouldn't even be on the news. Uh, because, the guy, because the guy would have been arrested the, the day this thing happened. Uh, this is just insane. Now, of course, the police are going to come out now with all their military equipment like they did last time, which is... <laughs> Open your eyes, people. Open your eyes. Uh, <laughs> how many journalists are they going to arrest this time? Uh, how many people's constitutional rights are going to get violated this go-round? You know... Because a couple of people aren't acting right up here, looting and carrying on, that doesn't give the police department up there the right to restrict everyone else's First Amendment freedoms. Uh, people have the right to peaceably assemble. Period. Period. Uh, the fact that somewhere down the road somebody's breaking into a liquor store doesn't mean that you can suspend people's constitutional rights. And they're going to come out with this surplus military equipment that the Pentagon gave them now. Their MRAPs and their Humvees, their armored personnel carriers, pepper spray, riot gear. Uh, I mean, it's just insane. Uh, you know, people have been talking for the last couple of weeks leading up to this announcement that they hope, they hope the protesters remain calm and peaceful and blah, blah. I hope the police remain calm and peaceful and let these people march if that's what they want to do. I mean, for God's sakes, you're... You killed this, you killed this boy in the street for no reason. And then this guy's been sitting at home for the last three and a half months, collecting a paycheck, hiding. Uh, it's just, it, it's just insane. The police department is, is supposed to be protecting and serving you, not roaming your streets with M wraps and water cannons and rubber bullets and tear gas and pepper spray. I mean, it's just insane. If somebody's breaking into a building, then go in there and get them and arrest them, period. But these people walking up and down the street holding signs and you, you know, you trying to cordon them off like dogs in a cage. I mean, th this is ridiculous. I, you know, and, and a lot of people are going to hate this video and thumbs down it and they're going to tell me I'm an idiot. And you know what? That's fine. Uh, you know, I, I'd rather be an idiot, uh, but... Yeah, but then not be able to see clearly what's happening here. Uh, try getting some of your news from somewhere besides Fox News. Uh, and you know the media's eating this stuff up with the riots, too. That's what most of them want anyway. They want you to riot. They want you to go out and act a fool. And then here they gonna come in with the give me your guns routine. Uh, it's just ridiculous. I said it in my last video, but... Uh, well, I'm not going to say that again. I got, I got sort of got in trouble for that. I'm going to leave that out this time. But uh, So anyway, be mad at me all you want. Hate me. Tell me I'm stupid. Uh, it, it, this is how I feel. It's just ridiculous. Cops are not above the law. If anything else, they should be acting in, in even more accordance to the law and held to a higher standard. Uh, this is just insane. I, I, I really feel bad for this for Mike Brown's family, the people up here in Ferguson, and now here they, the police are going to come out and just, you know, what is, this stuff just ain't never going to end, man. It's just, it's just not ever going to end. But I ain't. I don't have anything else to say.